You want me to shoot you, torture? Sure. Now? Go for it. At one point, just about all the toy guns, the water guns, super soaker, of course, and a good percentage of the uh, Nerf dart guns were all based on my patents. I actually set out to grab the dart gun market as well as the water gun market and um, was successful at doing that. I'm Lonnie Johnson. I'm a nuclear engineer and the inventor of the Super Soaker water gun. Ask me anything. So when and how did you come up with the idea for the Super Soaker? I got the idea for the Super Soaker in 82. I was actually working on a heat pump. It hooked this hose up to the bathroom sink and had this nozzle that I made connected to the hose and I shot the stream of water across the bathroom. It occurred to me that this would really make a really neat water gun if I, I could develop a, a high-pressure water gun. I will say that I enjoyed playing with water guns when I was a kid, too. Did your colleagues know about your inventions and what you were working on? Uh, I remember one picnic that we went on. This was my second tour of duty in the Air Force. This major who outranked me asked me what was it that I had in my hand. I told him it was my water gun, sir. He asked me if it worked, and I shot him. <laughs> After that, things just went crazy. We were throwing beer and everything else, water, <laughs> buckets, ice. <laughs> we had a lot of fun. I was pretty clear that um, I wanted to be an entrepreneur, I was ready to strike out on my own. I put in my request for separation from the Air Force. I was leaving the military and fell flat on my face. I mean, things just could not have gone worse for me. I had been talking to a number of companies, and for one reason or another, something would go wrong. One company actually went out of business. So, you know, what kept you going after so many disappointments? I felt that if I could get something straightforward, like a toy that just about anybody could understand and appreciate, I could get the revenue from that and be able to feed my revenue from that. And so the frustration happens, then I just pull myself back up to the bench and get back to work. <laughs> It wasn't until 89 that I met the people at Laramie. And this was the, uh, the original version of the Super Soaker 100. They were impressed with the way the gun worked. The rest is history. You can see this is a beverage bottle here that I was using to make this prototype. What were some of your favorite childhood toy memories? But my favorite toy when I was a child was uh, an erector set. And as I got older, my favorite toy became my robot. And it took me over a year to build them. But I remember experiments. They were, I guess you could call it play. But it was ex more exploring my curiosity. Growing up in Alabama, all the rules that applied under the racist uh, environment, you know, riding on the back of the bus, you know, white only restrooms and, you know, drinking out of certain fountains, that was just a way of life. The things that were important to us came from our family. So your father, he was a handyman. Um, what kind of effect did that have on you? I used to watch my father work and repair things around the house because I was always curious about how things worked and how you put things together to make them work. Fast forward, my older son, when he was about four years old, he would actually stand in my chair and lean over my shoulder and watch me work on my uh, lathe. And he would stand there for hours. He's an engineer now, uh, as my younger son. They're both engineers. So this is the laboratory. I feel silly walking around. <laughs> what do you want me to do? <laughs> I'm 
sometimes I think to myself, maybe Super Soak has spoiled me. I want to Super Soak the battery industry. I want to Super Soak the energy industry. I want to take it to another level. <laughs> I'm Lonnie Johnson, and this is my biography. Do you have any good puns related to nuclear energy? No. Engineers aren't known for humor. <laughs>